Contingency Plan Code, 64th Fist of the North Star. Subject, Kenshiro. A name that resonates across the wasteland of a post-apocalyptic Earth, from an alternate reality where nuclear devastation has forged humanity into something more resilient. This is not a world where hope thrives easily, but where strength, honor, and survival dictate the lives of its inhabitants. Kenshiro, the inheritor of the legendary martial art Hokuto Shinkan, is the embodiment of these ideals. He is a man who walks a path of sorrow, burdened by the responsibility of being the savior in a world gone mad. Born under the North Star, Kenshiro's abilities are far beyond what most could ever comprehend. He possesses immense physical strength, capable of bringing down entire skyscrapers with his fists alone. Speed, agility, and endurance, these are mere understatements when describing Kenshiro. He can move faster than the human eye can track, withstand the most extreme conditions, and his resilience allows him to brush off damage that would cripple even the strongest of beings. But it's the Hokuto Shinkan, the divine fist of the North Star, that truly makes Kenshiro a force to be reckoned with. This martial art focuses on the 708 pressure points within the human body, allowing its master to manipulate the flow of a person's life force, or toki, with a mere touch. Kenshiro's strikes can be as light as a mosquito's, yet the result is devastating, internal destruction that leads to certain death. The technique transcends physical limits, bypassing conventional durability, and rendering even the toughest opponents into helpless victims. Even beings as powerful as Superman could theoretically fall to Kenshiro, as the technique targets what no armor or superhuman resilience can protect, the vital points within. Should Kenshiro ever go rogue, my contingency plan must account for every facet of his power. First, we neutralize the Hokuto Shinkan. This technique relies on pressure points, so I must eliminate or alter mine. To counter this, I will use a synthetic compound derived from Clayface's body. In the past, I temporarily gained control over Clayface's morphing abilities using this compound. It allows me to mimic Clayface's shape-shifting properties altering my physiology at will. During a confrontation, this serum will enable me to negate Kenshiro's pressure point attacks by constantly shifting or entirely removing my pressure points at any given moment. Moreover, adding a layer of protection would be counterproductive. Even advanced armor like the Justice Buster suit would be ineffective against Kenshiro's attacks. He could simply bypass it and strike directly with his lethal touch. Additionally, the serum grants me regenerative abilities. Even if I were to sustain damage, the regeneration factor will ensure that I remain in the fight. Therefore, using the serum remains the best option. In this contingency, the gauntlets from the Justice Buster suit offer a unique opportunity. These gauntlets originally housed miniaturized red suns designed to weaken Superman by mimicking the effects of a red sun. I've calculated that I can repurpose this technology replacing the Red Suns with shockwave generators capable of producing devastating amounts of energy, specifically in the exajoule range. To put this into perspective, a nuclear explosion, particularly a modern thermonuclear weapon, generates energy in the range of 50 to 100 megatons of TNT, which translates to approximately 209 to 418 exajoules. Kenshiro has survived forces equivalent to this magnitude, therefore, to match and surpass the damage needed to incapacitate him, these shockwave generators will focus this energy directly into his body. By concentrating this force, we amplify its impact on his internal systems, potentially causing massive internal damage far beyond what a nuclear blast would achieve when spread over a wider area. This level of internal damage should be sufficient to bypass Kenshiro's external durability and affect him in ways he cannot easily counter. The combination of these shockwave generators and Clayface's morphing abilities provides a dual-layered approach, striking at Kenshiro's weaknesses while shielding my own. In summary, my approach is twofold. Negate Kenshiro's offensive abilities by altering my physiology and strike with overwhelming internal force. By exploiting the very techniques that Kenshiro relies on, I can turn his strengths into vulnerabilities. Given all these preparations, the likelihood of being Omai Wamu Shindirud is near zero. However, despite the contingency plans, 
I must acknowledge Kenshiro as a truly respectable adversary, a man who, even in a world torn apart by chaos, has managed to uphold a moral code. That alone is worthy of respect.